So hello everyone, in this video we are going to implement simple linear regression using PyTorch. Um, before I move forward, I would like to inform that I have started a new Fiverr gig where I am helping people with their projects through one-to-one -one video calls. So if you have any doubt or you want to start a new project, any of that, um, do contact me if you want. It's really cheap, it's just $5. Okay, so let's get started. So first I'll import the basic libraries in PyTorch. So import torch and then we'll need import torch.nn as nn so basically linear regression has been framed as a simple neural network one layer neural network problem and that is why we are using pytorch okay now the first thing that we need is data um, for data obviously you are supposed to get it from some other sources but for the tutorial purpose we will be generating our own data so for that we need a library so we'll say from scale learn dot data sets import make regression okay so this particular function will help us make our own data okay so we will do that by saying data equal to make regression and then we'll have to pass in some parameters so the first one is going to be number of samples so we will say let's let's take it 2000 okay so or yeah 2000 it will be enough the second one we are going to state is number of features so we will let's say keep it to 10 then we will need number of informative so basically how many informative features are there we will keep it to 8 then we will need number of targets so definitely it has to be 1 because we are using only one target obviously for the y value will only be one so one particular value now random state you can put it any number i'm taking one two three four okay so let's hit enter and let's see whether it runs so yes now if you see the data i'll just roughly print the data for you and we will see that it is giving some kind of a tuple okay so let's say what is the let's see what's the first one um so ideally it should come 2000 cross 10 because 2000 is the number of samples that we asked for and 10 is the number of features so why it's not running okay so as you can see we have got data of zero and there is some mm, there's some data here so if we print the shape of this ideally i'm expecting 2000 cross 10 okay so 2000 is the number of data points that we have and each data point has 10 features so similarly let's see what is there in data of one and we'll see the shape i think it's with the targets um I'm expecting 2000 comma 1 or 2000 comma just like that okay 2000 comma so basically we will be had we will have to have add one over here and we'll see how to do it so this is basically a data frame the data of zero is basically your data set which is uh, the data and then these are the data of one is the target so first thing that we need to do is to convert this to PyTorch tensor the reason is this particular data right now data of zero that this one is in numpy format so you can even type it out so like type of data of zero and if you hit enter i expect something like a numpy array or something okay um, again it's taking some time okay so numpy nd array so to convert this into pytorch uh, to a pytorch tensor because you have to use pytorch tensor to be able to implement anything in pytorch so we will say let's say train equal to torch dot from numpy so this is how you do it so when you come convert numpy to pytorch tensor this is how you do it so what you are going to pass is data of zero that's it um i'll also say that you should add float at the end Flo float because uh, otherwise you know afterwards it starts giving error so that was the train and for target we can just say torch dot from numpy again and this time we'll pass data of one because it was the target now you remember it is only 2000 comma 
uh, we need to do it 2000 comma 1 okay so for that there is a way like uh, you just use this and then pass none okay so what it makes it it makes it something like uh, 2000 comma 1 that is it and then again convert it to float so this is what we need we have converted numpy to pytorch tensor okay now we'll start defining the layer but before that i have to take you to the slides to explain something so what i was explaining is when we talk about linear regression a equation like this comes to our mind and this is actually very very simple so you have some uh, data points like or features which are x0 x1 up to xn and then you are multiplying some weights w0 w1 up to wn so basically what I'm trying to say, you can imagine this as if you have a one layer neural network as you can see over here. So each edge over here, okay, the connection here is W0, this one will be W1, this one will be W2 and like this the last one will be WN. So these are our weights and these X0, X1 are basically going to be the numbers of our, uh, so this one uh, X0 to Xn is our one data point, okay, and then each one is a feature, the input. So what you do is basically you find a multiplication of x0 w0 x1 w1 and so on to x and wn and then you add all of them there is no activation function here so basically you can think of linear regression and nothing but one layer neural network uh, without an activation function and the reason we are using pytorch is we are able to convert the problem into a neural network problem so pytorch is basically used when you have neural networks to be computed okay so that's it let's go back okay so after having understood that let's first define that layer that we spoke so we'll say layer one and we'll say nn dot capital n linear so if you remember it had uh, 10 inputs or whatever x inputs and then it was giving out one output so there were x0 uh, x0 to x n here it is 10 and then we have one output okay so this is how you de uh, declare the linear layer in pytorch so you'll hit hit enter now basically when you are like if you are doing generally you will be using classes and objects but i don't want to uh, rather scare you that's why i've just used a simple linear layer like this uh, otherwise if, if you are going for some complex structures or, compl or complex models then you'll have to use classes and objects which maybe we will start using from the next or next to next video obviously i'll explain there how we are using classes and all of that but just uh, no it's not that difficult okay now two more very very important things is the loss function now if you remember linear regression there is already a video on my channel you can go and see there is a loss function which in generally we use msc that is mean square error loss and which we'll be using in this particular video also there are others like uh, i'll not get the many they are getting to that there are many other there but uh, this one is the most famous one and the reason we are using it is because in pytorch it is already implemented so we'll call it as loss underscore function loss underscore f and equal to nn dot mse uh, capital l l o s s okay so you just see that mse and l are capital and um, the oss of the loss is in small next you also remember we used to use uh, uh, stochastic gradient descent or just simple gradient descent so here we will be using the stochastic gradient descent you can also use atom optimizer so we'll say optimizer is equals to torch dot op optim dot stochastic gradient descent or sgt here you need to pass in what you are trying to uh, change the values or rather tweak the values so that our network can get better at prediction basically you are trying to tweak the values of the layer one parameters right so we'll say layer one dot parameters it's that simple and obviously we also needed a learning rate here we will say 0 0.01 you can definitely tweak the learning rate and see how things go and all of that so we'll click enter shift enter rather and let the function run. okay so our loss function is defined and the optimizer which is the stochastic gradient descent is also defined so the last thing that we need to do is we need to run it for a certain number of epochs so let's say we have number of epochs and let's say we'll um, start with 100 okay and then let's have also some 
list where we saving all the losses uh, we'll just see in a second so for every epoch in range num of epochs number of epochs what we are going to do we are going to send the value now let's go back to the slides so that we can actually understand what i'm trying to say and what 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 do i mean when i say i'm going to send the values so now what we are going to do is we are going to slide the neural network to the side and now we will see the data set so basically this is the data set that we got from the sklearn library that we saw earlier so what happens ideally is that each data point that is 1 0.2 3.5 minus 0.5 up to minus 2.9 is taken one by one and then just given like x0 instead of x0 will have 1 instead of x1 will have 0.2 instead of x2 will have 3.5 and so on for xn will have 2.9 so one by one so in the next case you'll have this row and then you'll be sending it and then you'll be getting a y like this like y over here but in pytorch this is not exactly what it is what is done okay so you are not giving one line by one line because it is very it is going to be very very slow so what they actually do is they try to take it they try to take the entire data set and then feed it to the neural network okay so it's basically like a matrix multiplication i know it has to be explained in a bit more detail so if you do not understand that you can use the entire data set and then the neural network and in one go you can get the entire uh, all the y's rather or all the outputs so if you did not understand that uh, definitely tell me in the comment section i'll make another small video for that but uh, this is exactly how it is done so it is treated as a multiplication of two matrices rather than giving it uh, giving every row one by one in a for loop okay so this is what happens so now that we have understood that we are going to use just multiplication of the data set of the entire data set and the neural network we can use it by saying output equal to mod or rather layer of 1 and here we need to pass train now if you remember train was our data set okay so once we are done with that we will say the loss loss that is the msc loss is equals to loss function that is msc um, mean square error and we have to pa pass in two parameters so what is the predicted value and what is the real value so the predicted one is output and the real one is our target okay so this is going to be our uh, loss function now in order to see how much loss has been occurred we will directly append it to the empty list that we had declared earlier so all underscore losses dot append append and there is something that i'm going to do which you might not understand and wait for a couple of videos uh, i'll definitely explain that it is important part so loss dot detach so you'll not understand what is detach because i haven't shown you the graphs and how it is done uh, so we'll just leave it till there and then we'll have numpy numpy so this basically you see we, we converted from numpy to torch here the numpy is just the opposite of that from pytorch tensor till here it was pytorch tensor and now we have converted into numpy so after these three lines there will be another three lines which is common in almost all of the pytorch programs okay and again you will not understand it uh, like uh, right now because i have to explain the graph of how the autograd autograd and all works but this is a very simple tutorial okay after that will be done so these three lines you have to write in every program so that will be optimizer dot zero grad and i have i haven't explained those grads and all the computation graph so we'll leave it for now loss dot backward and as I told, all these three lines will be there in every Pytorch program, almost, okay, almost. And optimizer dot step, okay. So this was our all of linear regression. So if you run this, hopefully it should run without an error, and it will not take a lot of time. See, it did not take a lot of time. And you can also print all the losses, but we'll be making a graph soon. I think there should there should be hundred values okay so there are actually 100 values but let that be there are many values actually whatever let that be we'll try to plot the graph okay so for that we will need to import matplotlib obviously so we'll go back and then we will say import matplotlib 
dot pipe plot as plt plt so that will help us in plotting our uh, graph so it has got loaded so we'll say plot plt dot plot and we'll just pass in the list and then click and wait for the results to come again it shouldn't take a lot of time and you can see that our loss has decreased okay now ideally it is going to zero almost i hope it will not be zero but even if it is fine that's because the data that we have is not a real world data i don't think it will go to exact zero but it can go you know you don't you never know it can go because you do not have control over the data okay so it's taking some time yeah so it's not zero it's 288 point something so what we have seen is basically you trained a neural network and then your loss has continuously decreased basically it means that you can use a neural network in this case without any opt uh, without any last activation function and this will work perfectly as a linear regression so i think this is all from my side for today and yeah i have to also ex tell you about the gig because this is my first time i'm talking about it so this is my gig on fiverr basically i help people get started or proceed with computer science projects through one to one video calls so if you have a project or if you have uh, even if you want to learn a new technology or any of that sort you can definitely come and contact me on fiverr uh, it's just five dollars for 20 rupees uh, my expertise includes data science machine learning deep learning using, using pytorch and keras uh, computer vision natural language processing some blockchain development and other things are also there but i have just not included here because um, there can be you know many other things that i can write in many other libraries but whatever i know it's just i'll be helping you guys with it okay so that was it